somebody's campaigning or at a, at a water sewer authority meeting and then somewhere else we hear something different and I just think it's time that we put this to rest that uh, we need to know what all the issues are we need to know where all the documents are um, I have long searched these documents I've been following this since 2002 when at that time Jasper County Water and Sewer Authority members wrote letters to the paper saying they stood on their own they weren't going to have any taxpayer money and in fact in 2004, there was a letter to the editor that says, we don't answer to the commissioners, and no authority member is served by or otherwise benefits from the system, and we will soon have over 30 miles of water line serving over 500 customers at no cost to the taxpayers. This was by Tom Brazil, who served as system... Uh, engineer. Hmm? engineer. Well, system engineer, yes, and also served as um, chairman for a while, I believe. So these are the kind of things that we have, that I personally have controversy with and that this board should have controversy with and we have repeatedly said we do not owe this money. But I think it's time that we settle the dispute, it's been ongoing a long time, and that anybody that has actual documents to back up their statements, then we need to meet, we need to get together, we need to see where the documents are. When did the commissioners ever vote and tell the Jasper County Water and Sewer Authority to run lines? When did the Jasper County Board of Commissioners ever vote to say, we want hydrants? When did they ever vote? Because I haven't ever been able to find that in any minutes. And the minutes are what matters, not what one commissioner told somebody on the Water Authority or what somebody went and said to somebody. The minutes are what rules as to what goes on and what is legal. So. That's why I wanted to bring this up. I just, I just want to see if maybe there's something we can do about it, but th this board does not owe the debts of Jasper County Water and Sewer. Their own enabling legislation says so, and in fact, the bonds that they issued say that the county is not liable. Do we need to have a motion on that? <coughs> is it, I, I think that um, we need to see what um, how the water authority wants to handle it or whatever, but I'm just reaching out there to say if somebody's got documents, I'd love to see them because I've got stacks of them. You know, I'd like to see where they keep coming up with this and number one, why they keep saying that we owe money that the taxpayers have been doing for. That's just my comments. So I appreciate you letting me have the time. Okay. Did you want to go right to contact them with a request for documents that they have? Would you like for me to schedule a work session between the two? That'd be fine with me. I just think it's something that needs to be said. Well, I think I think the work session needs to hold until we come up with documents. I agree with Commissioner Fox. I'd like to see the documents. There's some the only document I've ever seen on this that committed us to anything was a document by one county commissioner who sent in a letter to the uh, water authority saying that if there's money in the budget then the county commission would give the water authority money. To pay for hydrants. Pay for hydrants. That's what I say, that was never in the minutes. And that's, 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 that's just one, one commissioner. I mean, it's, it's not in the minutes, it's just one commissioner giving a letter to the water authority, which frankly I don't think is official to start with. But even if it is official, it says in there, you you get the money if the, if the county commission chooses to put the money in the budget. So, I mean, we have put money in the budget. And we put money in the budget for the people who are receiving benefits from the hydrants. There's a, we have a specific district tax, which I think is fine, by the way. I think people are getting, people are getting benefits from the hydrants, if they're real benefits. I mean, then fine, get taxed. If we want to expand that district tax, we have, we're going to expand hydrants, then fine, we can expand it. But to tax people in uh, Monticello, for instance, or Shadydale for for hydrants that they're not getting <coughs> because they're in other parts of the county. I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense. And that's what you do when you take it out of general funds. Right. You're taxing people in Monticello and, and uh, Alcove Shores and Turtle Cove and Shadydale and these other places for, for hydrants that <coughs> they're not getting the benefit of, of the hydrants. And specifically, the lowering of the ISO ratings, which lower insurance <coughs> ratings. And, and you do receive significant benefits from that. So uh, I do support hydrants, by the way, but not, not the tax. Mr. Chairman, I 
yeah. separately. Why don't yes, we just go ahead and schedule a work session with the water authority and they've got any documents that prove, them, prove the point that we owe them or the <coughs> county owed them, then let them bring it forward. And then we make a decision from that point. Well, my only point I'm like was... Commissioner Patrick, once and for all, we need to just sell whether the Jasper County General Fund owe the water authority one way or the other, period. If there is no documentation, well, I see they, no reason to read. That was my I, I'd point. like to make a motion. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, before you make the motion, let me add this. Rory, did you, did you find anything that I asked? Well, um, I mean, we can ask um, the chairman, Mr. Chairman, if there are documents, um, if, if y'all would like to. I think we need to give them time to produce the documents, not yeah. have a discussion now. I, I'd like to make a motion that we, we ask uh, the Water Authority produce any documents concerning uh, any any guarantees that prior county commissions, we know this one hasn't done it, but any guarantees that prior county commissions have given to the Water Authority and that, that produce those documents that after they've been reviewed, we we sit down and meet with the Water Authority about those documents and about the indebtedness, if in fact we have been, uh, we have been committed. Can we have those documents now. We will leave them with Lori when the meeting's over. You can read them at your discretion. Uh, we can't get into this right now. I know you can't, but I just tell you. Okay. That's my motion. Okay. I have a motion. Did, did, did I ask the, the, the research on the documents? Did, did you research the documents? I didn't have time today. Oh, yeah, we can't get a discussion until I have a second. I second. Okay. Mr. We have a second. Any further no, discussion? She said you had time. So the motion is to to request documents, and we review them, and then we can set up a work session. Yeah, and that's correct. Yeah. And Chairman Trammell says he has the documents, so it would it should be a work session. Set up. And then I'll just um, scan in and see if I can email them accordingly. Can we get them tonight? Yeah, I'd just like to have copies. Sure. I can email them to you. Be in, be in no further discussion. Those in favor? Unanimous.